very good evening to you. Thank you so much for sticking to Y254 TV. This is the Power Talk Show and I am your host, Cheryl Blessing. I hope you've had a lovely evening. We're coming to you live from Nairobi, Kenya. And this is the show where we try to impact you and educate you on matters that affect your current affairs. And this evening, we're talking about something that is pressing because not many people talk about this. We really avoid the, the topic of parenting. We want to understand what is the impact of parenting because all of us had mothers and fathers or even guardians who nurtured us to be the people who we are today. What is the impact of the guardians that we had, the role models that we had? How can we be better parents and how can we help this generation become better? And joining me on set tonight is Zipora Wanyeki, who is a counselor, a teacher, and she's a businesswoman as well. Hi Zipora, how are you? Hi, I'm fine, thank you. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Awesome, good to see you. Looking it's good lovely. to see you too. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. My guest Leo wame, wame shine kabisa. <laughs> Next to Zipora is the Edwin Tiego, who is a pastor at Inspiration Embassy. Welcome again, Pastor Edwin. Thank you so much. It's great to be here once again. And it's great to have you as and well. And always a blessing. Yes, amen. Mm -hmm. So we're looking forward to having a very impactful conversation. Sure. We want to understand what is the impact of parenting your parents what impact do they have on your character mm -hmm. on your moral values and even your religious values so i want you to go to our social media platforms which is at y254 this is on instagram facebook and twitter we've made a post so you can write us a comment please ask us any questions if you have any opinion that you want to share with us nataka you go to our social media right now and you ask anything that you have to share with us. So I feel like this is a very important conversation because generations have been changing. Sure. Sure. And right now we have a very new generation of young parents mm -hmm. who sometimes do not have any guidance mm -hmm. on how they can become parents and how they can offer leadership to their children. Mm -hmm. So perhaps we can start with Zipora. Mm -hmm. You can explain to us what are the different parenting styles mm -hmm. that exist in the, according to the psychological or the, the counseling mm -hmm. field. Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you very much. Eh? Um, there are quite a number. And you know, when we, I was coming, I was uh, remembering someone who asked me that uh, uh, when they were parenting their children, before they got the kids, they had 10 theories of parenting. But when the kids came, they did not apply any single theory <laughs> <laughs> to that parenting. Mm -hmm. So you realize that you may have so many, but they're quite a number, but we can maybe do a summary of them. Eh? There's one parenting style that we call authoritarian. That mm -hmm. is the first one, very common with our parents, especially people from our generation. Uh, authoritarian parenting style is whereby the parents are very, very strict. Their say is their rule. What they say, no questions. You don't go asking why. They don't give you room for that. So what they do is they dominate with fear. A lot of threats. Uh, you know, you know they, they keep on threatening you and, and, and you know there's nothing you can do about it. Eh? So authoritarian parents, they give more of orders, threats, punishment. A lot of punishment in that home. So they, 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 the two kids learn to you know, follow the orders because mom says so. They are lost. If we are going to come and look at maybe the effect in adult. Those people, they're just there. They follow and they become habitual liars mm -hmm. because you're afraid. So those are authoritarians. It's not the best. We come to the second one. We call it authoritative. Allow me to skip it, then we shall come to it. Okay. Let's talk about permissive parenting. Permissive parenting is whereby you allow kids freedom with no restriction. They are there. Whatever you want to do, you are, you, you, you are not restricting. You, you're more of a friend to these children. And you know, when we are doing counseling, we always tell Kenyans, don't be friends with your child. They know where to look for friendship when they want. Just be there. Be there to guide them. and give. Otherwise, if you are friends, mm -hmm. they will build houses on top of you. All right? So uh, permissive parents, they allow kids to be. Whatever it is, they cry, you carry them. They don't want to, they want ice cream on a rainy day right now, and you are there, you cannot say no. So you give them a lot of freedom. Those are permissive. They allow a lot of things. Somebody will watch TV even at 2 a.m. Because nikababa na nikamam. 
Then talk about another one, he called it uninvolved. This is dangerous. Uninvolved parenting. Uninvolved parents, they are just not concerned. They are not there. They don't know, like, you know, we are living in the era of CBC where Kesho Muneza Itisho are beach boys, Kesho Kutu I don't know what. They, are not, they, they don't know what their kids carried to school and what they did not. They don't know whether the uniform is torn or not. They don't know whether the kids ate or not. They don't know whether the kids are sick or not. They are totally not there. It's very dangerous because these kids, they learn to be independent. They are given freedom, but there is no supervision. Nobody gets feedback. So uninvolved parenting. Then we have another one. We call it over-involved. Mm? The opposite of this one. Over-involved parents, what they do is that they are there to do literally everything for these children. In other words, we can use the word micromanagers. Quote and quote. They micromanage everything. Uh, you know, uh, uh, there was an advert that was running around about Akosha's mom somewhere. The kid goes to pray, you're there with something, you're wiping with all the <laughs> detergents, you're very worried. No, those, you don't allow the kids to be. You find a, a, a block, you remove for them. You never let this child develop anything by themselves. When they grow up, they don't try new challenges. They cannot handle new challenges. You are there, over involved parents. Very, very bad. So, the best that we advise what you can say the best in the market eh, is what you call authoritative. Remember I started with authoritarian. Yeah. Authoritative parenting, now this is whereby you set rules, you set goals, you set high expectations, but you also supervise and help them be. You help them, you say, I, I want you people to clean this room by then, and you also explain why. So there is flow of communication. You support their ideas and you explain. While the other one was, while uh, at and those people who are very uh, dictators, mm -hmm. this one does not have dictate, but it is still have expectations. I expect people to behave in a certain way because of this. So when children are given the freedom to be themselves and they are monitored, you have set clear goals and you monitor them. Now they, they, they come out as considerate people. They will not lie because they know their consequences for that. They, they, you know, they are balanced emotionally so that is the best that we can talk be authoritative as opposed to authoritarian mm. Mm -hmm. and i like the way you've really clearly defined that mm -hmm. because we can even tell mm -hmm. generation gani liko authoritarian oh, definitely because even our parents oh yes nikisha sema ni hivyo usiulize maswali and then the, the generation right now uh -huh. they're very permissive oh yeah, yeah. it's you have your phone oh yeah have your internet mm -hmm. everything without much of mm -hmm. the rules and the restrictions yeah sure yeah, so let me understand from the religious point of view, yes. what does the Bible say about parenting? What are the guidelines the Bible says when you become a parent? What are you supposed to do? How are you supposed to teach your children so that they, be they can become functional members of society? Wow, it's an interesting conversation and I'm really loving it. Mm -hmm. I've heard people say many a times that, you know, when a child comes, mm -hmm. a child does not come with a manual. <laughs> uh, you've heard people say that sure. mm -hmm. but I believe yeah when a child comes comes with a manual which is the word of God because sure. the Bible mm -hmm. says bring up a child mm. in the ways of the Lord mm. and when they grow up they will not depart, depart from it yes. and uh, according to the word of God it means a parent should be more of an example mm -hmm. than an instructor mm -hmm. you understand yes. so you are to show them the way, mm -hmm. you understand? You are to demonstrate to them the way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because many parents, why does parenthood fail? It is because we want to tell children what to do. But we ourselves as parents, we are not doing that one which we are <laughs> expecting them yes. to do. Mm -hmm. And something very interesting, Cheryl, children do not learn from what you tell them. Sure. They learn from what they see you do doing as a parent mm. so uh it should be so so the word of god expects us to demonstrate to children what we expect them to be not just to give them an instruction mm. and then to them it is an instruction mm. and then when it comes to you in a melegeza msimamo kidogo uh i hear that people say we should not ken children mm -hmm. the word of god advocates for caning as part of discipline. Mm. When you read in the book of Proverbs, it says that mm. if at all you spare 
the rod, you will automatically mm. spoil the child. Mm. So it is the demonstrate. The, the word of God asks us to demonstrate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. when you read from the book of Ephesians, chapter number six, it gives an instruction mm -hmm. to both the parents mm. and to the children. Mm. But what have we done? Parents speak about children obey your parents in the Lord for this is right <laughs> and then it ends there. Yes. They never go to the extent where it says mm. uh, fathers mm. do not expiate mm. your children mm. yeah, or do not offend or even provoke. Uh, do not provoke mm. your children. Actually that is the word. Mm. Yeah, it, it is, it is two-sided. When you read in the book of Deuteronomy chapter number 6 it says that we should be able to teach the ways of the Lord sure. to our children mm. from the time when they are, Their when children. they are young. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm. And that's important because one thing we all know, mm -hmm. children are sponges. Mm -hmm. They absorb mm -hmm. what I mean they not. see, what they hear, mm. their environment, what is around them, that is mm -hmm. what they absorb mm -hmm. and it informs who they become. Sure. Definitely. Yes, because you can tell a child, mm. I want you to read, mm -hmm. but you're not reading. You're mm -hmm. always on your phone, you're watching TV. Mm. Then you're not even guiding them mm -hmm. so that they can read. Mm. So I want to understand, before we talk to, we talk about the children who mm -hmm. then become adults, mm -hmm. let's talk about the parents. Yes. Mm. Because the parents most of uh, the way you've said mm. there's so many books oh, yeah. about what to how to parent what to expect <laughs> what you're expecting oh, yes. but when you get a child mm. it's different the reality of it is actually different sure. Sure. so let us understand mm. what are some of the things that we as parents can do mm -hmm. that will impact our children mm -hmm. maybe we had past traumas that we haven't yeah. healed mm. or we are carrying so many baggages and frustrations that we pass on to the children mm. so what will influence the mm. parent to become like authoritarian mm. or even permissive or mm. over involved mm. what are some of the factors that influence this mm -hmm. um uh, i will say this eh? thank you for that question mm. uh you know i'm in the education sector i'm also in the counseling sector so mm. you can imagine this is my every other day job mm. yes. uh, i deal with those cases and uh, i was doing a uh, statistic and i realized that uh, over 90 percent and I'm using the word 90 mm -hmm. uh, just to be a bit fair. Over 90% of the troubles we have with adults outside here, or let's just put it 95, they are actually not uh, formulated when they were adults. Mm -hmm. They came from where they were, they were brought up. Mm -hmm. You find somebody who is moody, you cannot explain w why this moody, mutu anezatu kukasirikia was up in the morning, sad in the afternoon, very disorganized. You go back to where they came from. You realize that shida kuna mahali nianzia. So uh, looking at um, some of the problems that have uh, uh, come uh, across or the impact of your parenting on these children, I want us to sample one case. Uh, we can sample more cases, but let's sample this parent we call uninvolved because they're very dangerous. Mm -hmm. An involved parent was not there when the child was growing. Mm -hmm. and, I, I, and I want you to understand when I said being not there, sometimes you can be a present absentee, you know that. Mm -hmm. You are there, but you're not there. Yes. You are there, but you're on your phone. So this child is asking, mommy, how do we calculate the SEM of this? And you're like, go, go, go talk to your auntie. Why are we paying fees? The teacher will tell you. So you're there, but you're not there. So this child has been given freedom to do whatever they want and nobody supervises and no feedback whatsoever. So the parent has detached. What have you done to that child as a child, number one? This child learns that I cannot trust anyone. So do you go to the marketplace outside here and you find adults who cannot trust others? They have trust issues. You can backdate it while they were growing up. Mm. You come at this child has nobody to correct them because discipline must be. You know, we, we, we say if you're a disciplinarian, uh, you, you have to offer discipline and explain why. So this child did wrong, nobody was there to correct. So here you are. Or maybe you are yelling at the child because as parents we are known for yelling. But <laughs> then we yell a lot. Somebody yes. was asking, can you parent without yelling? <laughs> <laughs> yes, you can. So you're there, you're yelling at these children because of a mistake that you never give, give guidance. So what have you done to this child? This child will now fear to show their emotions. So have you found these people outside there who are killing others ruthlessly? Unaluze kwa niyawa, hawana conscious, ilikufa. Gani, they were given a lot of freedom and nobody supervised what they were doing. Mm -hmm. They are very bitter with themselves, by the way, these children. So number one, they have trust issues. Number two, they are emotionally repressed. 
they don't show their emotions. Wanaka mawe. Because nobody was there. You know, we will come and talk about attachment styles. Uh, you can have secure attachment as a child or insecure attachment as early as uh, um, by the time you're six years. A child who is one year age of age, you will know whether they were securely attached by the bond they have. But what all these two children who are there clinging and, you know, running after mommy and crying when mommy is leaving, they are not securely attached. So how well they are attached will determine who they become as adults. So talk about that girl who has learned, number one, not to trust people. Number two, no emotions. Number three, they have difficulties in forming relationship. Those children as adults, they, you know, and uh, I don't want to misquote me, but you'll find that somebody um, is at the age of 30, 40, or even now senior bachelors, but still has trouble in choosing a marriage partner. Not that they are not there in the market, not that suitors are not looking for them, but just backdate where they came from. And you realize that these children had issues when they were growing up. Mm -hmm. So most of the problems you find, for example, you, you must have dealt, uh, uh, and even pastor in your congregation, mm -hmm. you must have dealt with these people who are untouchable, moody. <laughs> They're just mm. moody. Uh, uh, you're walking on eggshells. You're afraid yes, you might offend them. them eh? mm. you, they have some very fragile ego. And you ask yourself, so where did this come from? You look at your words. Mm. Select your words well, mm. <laughs> lest you talk. Where are they coming from? They're coming from a past. Why they were children, someone did a mess on them. That is why they are nurturing that and you bring it to adulthood. So talk about these people um, who are moody, especially some children. You could look at children and uh, you see that these children, they, because one of the characteristics is that they, they, they are attention seekers. They seek a lot of attention. Mm -hmm. and, and we were doing another theory and we were saying, did you know if the baby does not suck well, these children you're bringing up, if they do not suck well, that thing will backfire when they are adults they are oh yeah because there's a stage we call the oral stage mm -hmm. where you do things with your mouth you know every other every other, other time the baby puts their finger in the mouth it's a stage and that they outgrow if this child did not outgrow that stage they become fixated and so as adults you look for things to do with your mouth <laughs> <laughs> Part of it could be smoking. To be to two, nafanya tu na mudomo. So whatever behavior you see in adults, I said 95 percent. Back date it while this child was still young, mm. and you can tell where the mess really came in. Angalie, angalie. So the impact. So if you are a parent and you are there, that you are one year old. Mm. Remember, you are parenting a citizen. You yeah. will not be with this child forever. By the time they are 14 years, on a care. By yes. the time they are, so if you are not able to shape this mm -hmm. personality, mapema, because we say between zero and 12 years, these two kids are learning, observing. Pekeake, passively, you see them and you think you could you could be talking something, who make it up, and you think they are not hearing. But they are they are recording everything, and they are, you know their brain. How many GBs? I don't know. <laughs> Huge. It's recording everything. When God was a teenage, they start acting what they saw. Yeah. They st teenage is the time they start acting whatever they saw while they were growing up. So most of the problem that we can see with adults started there. So while you're bringing up your children, know that their impact, how well you handle them. For example, somebody who is a habitual liar. Anadanganya too. You've dealt with those people, right? Mutu tu anakudanganya. Uongo yuko tu hapa. Where did it come from? Why do we lie? To avoid punishment. Where did it come from? Authoritarian parents. Ah. Uh, because you knew. Nikisema ni mimi ni mibuja damos. I'll be, I'll be dead. You'll be done for. <laughs> <laughs> and because I cannot do that, what do I do? You I lie. The chicken, be good passed, at yeah, it's the chicken who passed and pick, you know, kicked it over and, you know, you develop pole, 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 mm -hmm. pole, and there you are. So, yeah. so many of these behaviors that you see even in counseling, walikata kudiri nazo wakua watoto. And I feel like that's a very important point oh to yeah. take note of. Mm -hmm. we, are a, we are the product mm -hmm. of our parents. Oh yeah. Uh, what our parents did, what we saw as children, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we are the product of that. Oh, yeah, yeah. And unfortunately, these days, most people don't even acknowledge that yeah, or don't. address it. Mm. So they'll just say, Mimi ni kotu mm -hmm. And then you accept. Mm. It's very interesting the way you said, can you parent without yelling? Because <laughs> I've had my cousins saying over, watoto <laughs> wasaba. And I'm telling you, they have been shouting. Pakara <laughs> Juliza, am I the problem at this point? Or what's going oh, on? No. So maybe we need to learn to do better because mm. what we do mm. will influence their characters when they get older yeah, sure. 
Yeah. So I also want to talk uh, about the perspective from the male perspective. Mm -hmm. Because mara nyingi, the fathers will leave parenting to the mother. Wow. Mm -hmm. And then the fathers will be, mi nalipa fees, nalipa <laughs> nyumba, nalipa bill, <laughs> mama ndiyo analea mtoto. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So I want to understand mm -hmm. what is the value of the father being present mm -hmm. and not just being present at yakukwa nyumba meonekana, mm -hmm. yes. but actively mm -hmm. engaging with the child mm -hmm. and even teaching the child. Mm -hmm. What is the value of that? Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, first of all, from, um, from the believer's perspective, the father is the priest mm -hmm. of the home. And any value you would want to see in your child, it is you to put in as the father. And uh, appreciating the fact that you are part of what is to be happening in the life of your child. Many a times um, we have ever had a comment where someone says, oh, you are as foolish as you are, <laughs> mother, <laughs> something yes. like that. The question is, <laughs> when the child was becoming as foolish as the mother, mm. where, were, where you were you as the father? Mm. I can give you my personal example. Most of the meetings in my son's school, mm -hmm. I'm the one who has attended wow. the meetings. I follow up with the academics. And I try to ensure that I am balancing in. In that, if at all, yeah, I may not be present at home mm. because I'm um, maybe uh, I'm taking activities the way I'm now a taftia, yeah? Mm. I am part of his life, whereby mm. in school, most mm. of the times, mm. it is me who he has, he has done what he has seen there. Mm. So the male factor of parenting is very, very key that as a father, you need to give direction to the life of your children. Mm -hmm. Of course, uh, with the cooperation of the mother and all that. And when it comes to matters discipline, yeah. because mostly mm -hmm. if you go to families and inquire mm. who is the disciplinarian mm. of the family, mm. in most of the cases, you will find that if at all the mother is involved so much, mm -hmm. Your discipline is Afika Mahali. Mm. Na itagonga muamba. Mm. You understand? Yes. But if at all the father is the final authority, wow. that if at all the mother cannot discipline this child, mm. when he is taken to the father, mm. then the discipline will take effect. Mm. Why? The father is seen as a what? As an authority. Yeah. You understand? Mm -hmm. So as much as uh, one can leave it to the other, mm. one can feel they are much involved in the other. Mm. I feel that hierarchy mm -hmm. should be uh, keenly pursued so that uh, there, are those there are those parents who have their, 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 their kids who are older mm -hmm. than others. Mm. So that you are not only parenting alone. Mm. If at all you are the firstborn in the family, mm. yeah? what is it that you can be able to do as a firstborn? Oh, yeah. That if at all it doesn't work, mm. you are able to forward it mm -hmm. to your mother. If mm -hmm. the mother cannot manage, mm -hmm. it is forwarded to the father. Mm -hmm. So that that accountability and parenting mm -hmm. is made it's as fair. interesting mm -hmm. as possible. Mm -hmm. And I would say the parenting is dynamic mm -hmm. in the different families. Mm -hmm. It is not, it is, we cannot use the script yeah. uh, <laughs> that I use in my house sure, sure. Uh, mm -hmm. as the same one that she's using in her house mm -hmm. and yeah. someone as a, mm -hmm. The scripts are very, very different. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. even when these kids are coming, they are also very, very mm -hmm. dynamic. Yes. They are kids who are attached to their mothers. Mm -hmm. They are kids who are attached to their fathers. Mm -hmm. Despite the gender. Mm -hmm. I've had people say, oh, it is in terms of gender. I have my son who is the last born. Mm -hmm. And he's the only one who sings in the house. Daddy, daddy, daddy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and every time. Yeah. He's a, here he's a boy. Mm -hmm. And people say, oh, girls seem to be so much attached to the mothers and mm -hmm. all that. Mm -hmm. So I believe parenting is dynamic. Mm -hmm. And we should look at it in that particular manner. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, awesome. Mm -hmm. You know, it has just reminded me when we were growing up, Pastor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> your mother would thoroughly beat you. Mm -hmm. In a kichapo, and then yeah. now after that beating, <laughs> she tells you, wait until your father comes. Uh, yes. Now you're there wondering, if <laughs> this is the kind of 
Sasa dad atafanya at the ICU. What will dad do when he comes? And the chairman of the disciplinary committee. Mrato tameka ukijua daddy ataambiwa. And you know I I like the way you've said that because yes. the father should be an authority mm -hmm. in the house because mm -hmm. the father is the head of the household. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you know there was a video I watched on uh, Twitter mm -hmm. where people were just being questions on, mm -hmm. questioned on the street. So mm -hmm. families, mm -hmm. fathers are with their children. When mm -hmm. unajua birthday mm you? -hmm. When was this one born? My goodness. The father doesn't know. So out of about <laughs> six fathers, only one was aware of the, of birth, the yeah. birthday and mm. how many years, what class, the name of the school. <laughs> At what school are you in? At no, that's my sister's school. My but the mothers know the answers. Mm -hmm. So it's very important for the father to be present mm -hmm. because even the children will learn from that. Mm -hmm. The male and the female children mm -hmm. will learn from that because as we've said, mm -hmm. that is what will influence them. When yeah, they sure. get out here and they are dating and looking for partners, mm -hmm. they will reflect mm -hmm. how was my father back home? How yeah. was my mother back home? Mm -hmm. So as we're progressing with this conversation, I'd like you to go and uh, maybe you can share a comment that you have. Mm -hmm. Kama swali ya kuniuliza, tuuliza tafadhali. Maybe you have a young family that you're wondering, how should you parent so that you do not affect them? Or maybe you have some trauma from your parents and you want to understand how you can unlearn some of the trauma. Mm -hmm. So go on Y254 and engage with us. Niuliza swali yoyote, share your opinions and we will sample that as we progress with the conversation. Mm -hmm. So I feel like the next uh, step we can go to mm -hmm. is the attachment styles. Mm -hmm. Let us discuss the mm -hmm. attachment styles because mm -hmm. as the uh, pastor has mentioned, mm -hmm. some children are more attached to the fathers, some mm -hmm. are more attached to the mother. So what what brings about these attachment styles mm -hmm. and what are the different types of mm -hmm. attachment styles mm -hmm. that you know exist? Uh, thank you. Uh, uh, let me start by saying um, there's this person called uh, Eric Erickson. And you know, I told you there are so many theories in this world. Eh? Mm -hmm. So Eric Erickson looks at the stages of development and at what stage and what. Then there's also another psychologist called Sigmund Freud who really had a lot of impact on psychology and discussed. And uh, they could tell that at each stage, the, there's some qualities or some characteristics you expect. Eh? Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, after now, this child is done with uh, the oral stage where you're sucking, you know, with the babies. Eh? They come to the anal stage. This is whereby children tend to uh, derive pleasure from the, the, the private parts. Especially when they are one year, two years, they love touching their private parts. Mungina na semu mtoto ako na pepo, hana. It's a state. That is shocking to me. I have no idea. No, 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 no. When you're bringing up a child, you you'll notice some of those things. They have a tendency of wanting to touch their private parts. Nini, nini. And then you might say, mtoto miyaza tabiyamba mapema. It's a stage. They don't even know, but they're just going through it. After the anal stage, now you'll come to this stage whereby, we call it the phallic stage. Now this is whereby, uh, as 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 a uh, pastor was saying uh, that the, the the cowboy really wants to be attached with you eh? so at at this stage the girl wants to be attached with the daddy mm -hmm. the boys want to be attached with the mother it is now normally the, the, the vice versa. So you want uh, you, you look at the girls, it's now that they're starting to know who they are, the boys are knowing who they are and so they feel so much attached to the father if it's the They're girl opposite. if it's the, bo uh, the the boy attached to the mother and they are so jealous about it while they are growing up they, they're jealous of they're overprotective of that eh? after they outgrow that now they later go and they start forming their own relationship at teenage they get uh, uh, attached to uh, i mean attracted to the opposite gender and it is normal see my people it's normal it's, it's only that you guide them eh? mm -hmm. so now that is you expect that when they are growing up and that is why we say uh, if you are a father, you're there and you're parenting a girl, it is very, very much important that these children know, this girl knows, you know, make it habitual that you tell them you love them. Let them hear from you, the male figure. Because if you don't tell them, and that is what they are yearning to hear, they'll hear it from the motorbike guy outside there, uyo mutuhua na waletea sukuma wiki siji na nini at your doorstep, they will hear it from the neighborhood and you will not like the impact. So normalize talking to them, showing them love and everything because you are there for that reason. So if a girl lacks fatherly love, uh, in future you will notice something because they are there, they are looking for something. There's something they are looking for, safety and security. And they cannot really find it with the mother. And so while they get a boyfriend, they tend to be clingy. 
hata kama ni mbaya na mna gani hata kama anamteza na mna gani mm -hmm. but you you are the wewe ndiye nimepata so they can even be in an abusive marriage and you don't know it you, you've heard of a narcissistic huh? mm -hmm. the relationship with a narcissist people who are very controlling and everything narcissist will get these people because these children you know these people they want somewhere they can you know be attached so that brings us to the attachment styles that we have to make it easier let's just say bonding while a baby is born they have a love language there is what they understand to be loved because they don't talk they're not talking they 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 they, 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 orals, they have not they are developed the language but they still know you love them or not and did you know that uh, even babies you've ever seen somebody ameshika mtoto mtoto amelia mwingine ameshika mwingine acheka at that stage they know who is good and who is bad mm -hmm. they have a way of telling you i don't know your face i don't like your face as young as the small babies that you see because they also develop stress mm -hmm. even those small babies can get stress i hope you know that eh? mm -hmm. yeah they can at the, at that age eh? so when this baby is growing up in a happy family a family where the mother is there, the father is there, and they are safely attached. There are, are no chaos. It is not a dysfunctional home. This child gets a sense of security, a sense of safety, feels safe and secure. I was telling someone else, um, when you were born, you only had two fears. Did you know that? Only two fears. from your environment. It was not there. You only had two fears, the fear of falling and the fear of loud noise. Only. Those oh. are the two fears that are there at birth. All these other fears that you have, but in Miwogopa Heights, you've developed from the environment you brought. Miwogopa Maji, Nataka Tu Maji Akarai, it's because of your environment. But you only, that is why if you're throwing a baby up, you see them. If you yeah. drop something, you see them. Those are the only two fears they have. So when this child is securely attached, you have sorted that. They don't have the fear. As a result, what happens to them as adults, they will form healthy relationships they'll be able to be considerate to others. They show empathy. They show emotions. They are able to help others. They are not, you know, they, they are not, um, you know, these people who are called uh, me, myself, and I. Mm. Uh, nobody else exists mm. b beside them. Eh? Yeah. As a result of this permissive parenting, if you are a permissive parenting and you're doing everything for them and everything for them, those children learn never to share. Everything in Yake. They can go for a trip and uh, the neighbor does not have anything to eat. And this one has 12 sausages and cannot share. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's all of them. It's me. Of Mom Actually, says I don't so share. Child, <laughs> mm -hmm. I was surprised. Kwa get yao, Mr. Mama and Alamba yoga to not to wili wana muangalia. Oh yeah? Na I was like, hey, you see new choy. So it's the parenting. The parenting that styles. Influences. What do you, what do your kids grow hearing? What do you ah. tell them? What do you tell them about sharing what do you tell them about being kind to one another because they start as a, at an early stage most yeah. people who have trouble is because they're starting parenting at 20. wakati umutu ameenda nje amekutana ameenda clubs ameenda kila mahali then you want to come and state your rules there it will not work if it did not start there it won't work Ne, uh, ne kazi, one of you will be sick. You will be swallowing <laughs> there was a blood <laughs> pressure and, and all those other things. Eh? Yes. So this is a child who is securely attached, bonding from the, the, that tender age. The mother could hug. The, you know, they are punishments, but they are not harsh. They are there and they are explained. So that child grows with love. Now, the other type of attachment is insecure attachment. It, it can go, it can have several uh, subgroups where we talk of ambivalent, uh, uh, you can talk of anxious and disorganized. And, but we want to summarize it in one word and say insecure attachment. Now this child has grown, mm -hmm. but has grown uh, where is not given enough attention, enough love in a dysfunctional home where there are chaos all over. And so they hear the mother and the father fighting and the shouting and, you know, young as they are, that trauma is real to them. Mm -hmm. and, and, and if you're a parent and you fight before your children, you really need to reevaluate yourself. It's really bad. It does a lot of damage to them. While they grow up, they might become two things. One, they might become bullies. A bully is somebody who saw their mother being uh, uh, battered and want to stand for themselves. Inside they are cowards, but they want to, they are portraying something from outside. If not that, while they go, they may replicate what they saw. 
dad battled mom. I'm also so battling women. What is good for dad is good for me. So what I mean, a chapa wangu. Are you seeing that? Eh? Yeah. Or they grow with bitterness, a lot of bitterness for no proper reason. So they carry it from their childhood into their marriage, which becomes very bad. So these children who are insecurely attached because there was no love, there was no attention, and don't take for granted about attention. Because these are the children who later come to develop what you call attention-seeking behavior. Mm -hmm. If this child is there, you're a parent, and you realize that uh, when you're there, they, 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 they are screaming. You know, there's, a, there's an age we allow uh, the child to come and tell you, Mama, I want this. Mama, I want this. Mama, I want this. And they're screaming in your ears. You know, they are id and they are super ego thing. Eh? But now there's a stage they have outgrown that. So if you find that this child of yours is repeating things and screaming to your ears, they're only trying to draw your attention. You know, attention-seeking behavior has led to what you see in schools today. Somebody uh, uh, burned the school. What were they looking for? It was not in burning that they were getting fun. But if dad, you cannot come on a normal parent day, wengine wakikuja. If you cannot come on an academic day, then let me do something that will bring you to school. Mm. You burn the school. So see, you face the BOG and uh, you, uh, exactly, yeah. So if you if we cannot call you in peace, then you come in chaos. They they, they are seeking attention. So when you try to look at some of these things, you realize that they carry a lot of weight. What you do, you do to these children, if they were not securely attached, even in future they carry that. They don't have a very good relationship. Most of them will tend to hide their emotions. You don't know exactly who you are attacking. Some are very lost in life, very lost. They, they, they follow things when others have said them. They, they don't stand for themselves. They don't know what they want in life. You look for it, their attachment style, where they were still young. Talk about these people who are disorganized. Very di I'm, I'm not talking about this disorganized that you did not put your things well uh, because that one has everything to do with your who brought you up and maybe even your personality. But I'm talking about someone who is disorganized that cannot even hold a job for a month. Amefanya tu kiki tutu, ametoka. Cannot follow rules, cannot do what? That kind of, cannot even stay with the, a spouse, a wife or a nasi ati nini nini yetu omereta tumavitu. You look at this person and you know you are not securely attached while you are still a young, as early as age one. That is when we can be able to, you can do a, a test and you're able, at age one, you can tell a child who is securely attached exactly. and one who is not. Yeah. That stage goes up to around six years. After six years, kida hujasoma. Forget yeah, about it. Exactly. Na yendo anasema, uspopunza na mamako, unapunza na ulimwengu. Exactly. And I hope our audience is also learning something. Mm -hmm. Don't see your friends or even someone you're dating and I behave a certain way and then you assume ako too evil. Mm -hmm. You have to find out mm -hmm. what is the root cause. Exactly. What happened mm -hmm. when they were being brought up. Mm -hmm. So I also want to talk about uh, the aspect of single parents. Mm -hmm. Because nowadays we have a lot of broken families oh, yeah. where people are raising children by themselves. Either mm -hmm. the father or the mother mm -hmm. by themselves. Mm -hmm. I want to understand what is the impact of that? How mm -hmm. does that influence the child? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It uh, has a lot of psychological damage sure. on the child mm. because in a normal setup when you find that there are children who are brought up in a family mm -hmm. personally I can openly confess that I was brought up in a in a single family and one of the most torturing questions mm -hmm. in my life mm. was when you go to school <laughs> and perhaps you are friends and other people mm. They are. They have ever seen. Yeah. Uh, they have seen both parents. Mm. So you as they only see you one parent mm. always coming. Mm. So they're asking. Mm. There was no question that used to torture me yeah. like that question where they were asking. Mm. Where is your father? Mm. And you will find that most of the times, the issues of parents now begin to affect mm -hmm. the children. Mm. Perhaps we are in a relationship with you, uh, Cheryl, and. We have a kid and either you have gone with a kid mm. or I've gone with a kid mm. and you find you would want to defend yourself mm -hmm. to the kid. Yeah. You would want to tell the kid how bad I am mm. or I would want to tell the kid how bad mm. you are. We are making the kid to do it, mm. to choose sides, yes. which is very, very, very dangerous mm. because at the end of the day, when this kid 
comes to discover themselves or they know themselves, mm. they do not know what to believe. Exactly. Whether what the father said yeah. or whether w what the mother uh, did what? Say. So when it comes to single parenting, it is always advisable mm -hmm. that as you're bringing up this child, mm. don't portray either parent in a negative way. Sure. Mm. Keep the kid out of your issue. Mm. It is always advisable. Sure. And when the kid comes to a level where they can be able to understand, mm. if you feel there is anything they need to know, mm. let them know. When mm. they are at an age where they can be able to do it, mm. to, to understand. understand. Mm -hmm. But don't make them portray. For instance, you are a lady mm -hmm. and you are bringing up a girl child mm -hmm. and you are portraying men in a way that is, is, in a way that is not good. Mm -hmm. Yeah? There is this statement they have always spoken about men. <laughs> I don't want to Very mention it on a yeah. some <laughs> damaging statement. Mm. Uh, they say, oh, you know, all men are what? Uh. It is not so. Mm. So when this child is, is coming up, mm. they see men in that way. Sure. It is always very, very wrong. So in single parenting, ensure that you play your role as a parent. Sure. <laughs> and we always insist, mm. do not deny the child mm. the opportunity to meet the other parent. True. If at all you parted ways, it was negative, it never worked, mm. kindly content with that. But don't bring a child mm. into your issues. Sure. Yeah. Mm. Because, you know, that's one thing mm -hmm. that parents really fail to understand. Mm -hmm. We were having this conversation uh, a few weeks back mm -hmm. about divorce and separation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you bring the child into it. Mm -hmm. Mama, mm -hmm. mama, mm -hmm. mama, daddy. Mm -hmm. And this child is probably five years old. Mm -hmm. I live with what is going on. Oh, yeah. it is so it, it traumatizes mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. it, yes. it is the most difficult place to put a child where they need to, mm -hmm. to choose. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, uh, when you get to a place where you're denying mm -hmm. that particular child mm. the love of the other person, mm. it really becomes something bad for that child. True. Because mm. you are molding, mm. you're molding this. And I, I like what my sister said, mm. that many things mm -hmm. are beginning. The life of a child is very, very foundational. Mm. Yeah. yeah? Mm. It's very, very foundational. Mm. And the foundation you lay mm. in that child mm. Like, if at all I can just digress a bit. Mm -hmm. Many people who their self-esteem is low, mm. where does it become, begin to become low? Oh. From the childhood. From the childhood. Mm. When this child is coming up mm. and any moment they would want to express themselves, mm. you are shutting them, mm. you are suppressing them. Mm. Yeah? So you'll find they'll, they'll, they'll be difficult. Mm -hmm. If at all, for instance, there is something so private about this child. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Let's use a very, very basic example. Mm -hmm. Bedwetting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah? Mm -hmm. And when this child has, be has, <laughs> has mm -hmm. wet their bed mm -hmm. and you want to call them out, yeah. in the, you are not giving them their privacy, mm -hmm. they will feel oh, yeah. they, are, they are being disrespected. Mm -hmm. And wherever they are, they will feel, ah, I'm not fitting Mm. In not well. fitting yeah. in their shame. So any them. moment you are shouting at them, mm. whatever you are injuring mm. is their self-esteem. Mm. Mm. You understand? Mm. Yes. So back to the, the issue of single parenting. Mm -hmm. If you want this child to be secure mm -hmm. and to be okay wherever they are, mm. yeah, give them both perspective of the, irregardless mm -hmm. whether that relationship worked or not. Mm. So it means if you would want to argue mm. with the person who disappointed you, mm. seclude the child from that particular argument. Mm. Yes. Argue all that you can mm -hmm. and ensure that the child is getting the right picture yes. of the parenting. If mm. they inquire so much, tell them when you are able to understand, mm. we'll will be able to talk you. about this. Mm. Yeah. And I think that's very important mm -hmm. because so many people have been raised like that. With mm -hmm. a single parent, mm -hmm. they had no understanding. Oh, yeah. Daddy, mm -hmm. mommy, mm -hmm. when you ask, 
inakuwa ni kelele. Oh, yeah. Mtu amenuna, hauwezi yeah. ongea kwa hiyo nyumba tena. Yeah. And you know that really affects children mm. because you can only understand when you get older. When mm. you get to 18, 19, 20, mm. sure. that's when you can fully comprehend. Mm. And another thing is when you separate the child from a parent, mm. that also creates a rift mm. because there is love that comes from both parents mm. and the children need that. Mm. They need the attention mm. because it can lead to resentment mm. and a lot of things that will affect them in future. That mm. is true. So let's say mm. you have been keen, umekuwa, very careful about not mentioning something negative about daddy or mommy, mm -hmm. but now you have found another partner. Mm -hmm. Because I know so many people who are also single parents, yeah. mm -hmm. when they find another partner, mm -hmm. it's difficult because mm -hmm. at what point do you introduce them to the children? Mm -hmm. And at how do you even know if this is the right person mm -hmm. to introduce to the child? Mm -hmm. Because there's also the worry of is it going to work out? Mm -hmm. Or is this person going to live again? Mm -hmm and then another person comes in. Mm -hmm. So Zipporah, mm -hmm. how can you advise someone who's mm -hmm. maybe mm -hmm. a single parent and they're dating mm -hmm. and they want to introduce someone to their children? Mm -hmm. How should they do that? How should mm -hmm. they go about it? And how can they even assess mm -hmm. this person if it's the right person mm -hmm. or if the situation is going to last? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, we'll start by saying this. Huh? When a mother is expectant, let's say you have a firstborn, now you're expectant, you're expecting a second born, eh? You don't wake up one morning, you go to the labor ward, the maternity ward, get a baby, and then you come and introduce that second baby home. You will have created enough conflict, mm. enough sibling rivalry, because this child who was alone here is already feeling entitled. This is my small empire. This is my kingdom. I, I, I rule. These are my toys. These are my things. When you put fruits there, they are mine. No one comes to touch them. Now you're introducing another baby who becomes the idol of the home. So the attention is not is now going to shift from the mother, I mean from him or her, to this new baby. Th there's always going to be rivalry. So if you're a wise person, you will, you know, when you know you are four months, five months, the, 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 the pregnancy is showing up, the baby bump, you call them, pole pole mombi, you know what daddy, you know what mom, we're expecting a baby. Come sing for the baby. Prepare this child, pole 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 pole. Uh, even when it, it, it's come read a story for the baby. And by the, uh, the, from the doctor's perspective, they say that those babies here. Mm. They hear everything, they're singing, they're humming, and they're everything. Eh? So by the time you go to the hospital, this child who is here is already aware that you're going to have a new baby and will be excited about it. But uh, so if you are a parent, you're a single parent there, and now you have a child, because things, stuff do happen. What were Jaumbua Binguni? Only angels. <laughs> so <laughs> things will happen. You, th you came there with high expectations that marriage will work. It did not work for one reason or another. And so you had to part ways. But while you were parting ways, you had a baby. Mm -hmm. So this child, and you want now to introduce a new father or a new mother, start Mapema. While you're going on your date, tag this child along. Watch our bond na huyu mutumpia. Let the bonding start early. By the time he will he will not come in as a stranger. He will come in because Asha Muona, Asha Mkubali. And if you are the person who is coming in as the man or as the lady, we start buying presents, Mapema. Leo mm. you, you, you're buying the love of this child. You're winning this child to you. I know families whereby you can now not tell whether this is the real father or the real mother or not because Amengiana until Amengia kwa system. So you can tell. So start doing it, Mapema, Mapema. Mm -hmm. But again now, you find maybe somebody is taking advantage of you. So someone looks at you, you have money, nikimutu tu na hapo hivi, kimiamua hii, let me tag myself along this family. So it not, has no business with your child, by the way, has mm -hmm. business with you as an individual because of the profits you get. Now, this person will come and abuse your child. Mm -hmm. And if you are not careful, uh, the damage that will be done by this new relationship could be irreparable. It could be really bad. There's nothing which is as bad because I've heard of cases where somebody, my mother got married, uh, remarried, and this father came and was abusing me and my mother could say nothing. Now, when you're there and your mother, who was supposed to voice for you, did not protect you, you know, it becomes even, this is a total new stranger and vice versa. Maybe it's the man who has brought an, a lady as the new mother. The new, you know, you expect your father to be there for you. The new mother is mistreating you. So those things do happen. Assess your situation well. Know the personality of this person is this person accommodative is this yeah. person accommodating you as your child does this person know that you have a, a, a child with you or a family with you are you able are you able to come with the terms of this home are you able to respect my children are you able to are you, are you getting that eh? yeah. so if you're able to bring them along well 
you'll have a healthy family. Mm. If not, they'll, they'll always be sibling rivalry. Mm. Assuming I'm a na mungu wa mwabariki, you now have kids. Kids together, plus now this one. There'll always be that jealous aspect. Like it or not. Have you ever seen the traditional families yeah. where there were uh, polygamous homes? Eh? Mm -hmm. uh, nyumba ya, ya, ya mama mkubwa, <laughs> mama mudogo. <laughs> yeah. Those children were serious rivals. Yeah. Competition comes in. And, and and I think it's even biblical. You've seen it, Pastor, in the Bible. Yes. It was so even with the what uh, Jacob's wives, uh -huh. they were also in conflict because oh, yeah. this one has so many children. Exactly. But then Rachel is the beloved, mm -hmm. and there is still some jealousy. Oh, yeah. And that is something that's very important. So mm -hmm. that also applies oh, yeah. with how to know if this person is serious oh, yeah. or if the relationship is serious. Mm -hmm. So you really have to assess the person. Oh yeah. But what if they fake? <laughs> no, these days you know people are also. Ah, but let me tell you, let's yeah. put it this way. Unless you met this person today and you 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 you, you got married today, love mm. at first sight. If you give you know, faking has a timeline. Mm. You cannot fake yourself for several months without bringing out the real character in you. Mm. You will have a way of knowing the anger level of this person, the impatience level of this person, the resentment, the what. You, you, and you can tell, just with this person, you go to the hotel and they're there abusing the waiter. What do you expect of that person at home? Yeah. You are there in the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the traffic and they're honking, uh, very impatient. You can be able to tell people's character. They cannot fake it for long. It is so tiresome not to be yourself. <laughs> very draining. Very exhausting. So they just have to show oh, their true if colors. you are keen enough, and even these people who are in marriage, and 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 and, and maybe something comes to happen, uh, and they find they are not how are we There were some red flags that you ignored. You saw them, but you're so much madly in love, mm. you ignored them. If you are keen enough, you'll be able to tell this. This is a problem. Mm. And I think that's on our part. Oh, yeah. So we have to be very keen. Mm. If you're a parent, even if you're just dating, in a play at a quarter and you're on a date, oh, yeah. you have to be very keen with the person that you're being with. Mm. Is this person right? You know, mm. sometimes we are so blinded by this love, I want to be married, <laughs> I want yeah. the dream wedding, Finally. and ignore oh, all yeah. the red flags. Mm. So maybe as we conclude the conversation, because time, <laughs> I'm wondering what's happening. Uh -huh. We can talk about mm -hmm. now the children. Say wako traumatized. Oh, Let's yeah. say they have already dealt with all these things, they are carrying all the trauma mm. of their childhood and the parents and all the things that they have had to deal with. Mm. How can they address that? Mm. Because first of all, if we're being honest, in this generation, people don't even acknowledge they're traumatized. Oh, yeah, they don't. What, what, you, you move along and that's when you acknowledge, mm. and you I have this issue or mm. that. Mm. But how can we acknowledge? Mm. Pastor Edwin, how would you advise someone to acknowledge? Perhaps they were in the same situation as you, raised by a single parent, went through some things that really traumatized them. Mm. How can they acknowledge the, the pain and the trauma they have dealt with so they can really unlearn those bad habits? Uh, number one is always uh, coming to terms with the reality mm -hmm. that uh, this has happened, but in one way or another, I can amend. And I always like to tell people, I, I love to speak some things from experience. Mm -hmm. There's a time I really used to have anger issues, mm. I, but I realized that mm. this, is a, this is an issue, this is a problem. Mm. You understand? Mm, yeah. So when you come to admittance, and you know that I would want to forge ahead and to move forward. There are things you can begin to correct. That is when you have discovered I have a problem and I need help and I can reach out to someone to get to, to help me. Mm -hmm. And you tell yourself, if, uh, if I want to bring up a new generation, how do I want to, to bring up? Mm -hmm. So uh, you tell yourself, if at all I had, uh, I had, a bad uh, experience mm -hmm. of who my parents were, mm -hmm. I would not want the same to happen yeah. to, to my children. For example, if you're born out of the wedlock in a setup oh, yeah. like the one, you tell yourself, no, I do not want to bring children oh, yeah. in a setup like that one. Mm -hmm. So number one, it, it, it comes from acknowledging yeah. the, that there is a problem or there was a problem and that I would want to amend this problem. Number two, you get to forgive. You forgive your parents. There is, a, a, there, is a, there is what is trending at the moment. I would not want to mention because mm. people will get to know the person. Mm. That you get to forgive mm. your parents and you tell yourself, no, mm. it was a stage in their life. Oh, yeah. 
I don't know what they went through. Mm. I don't know how they go to this situation, mm. but I do not want to be part mm. of that past. Mm. And speaking out helps a lot. Oh, yeah. mm. When you just get to speak a lot. Mm. There is this statement that I have always appreciated. Mm -hmm. And I say, if at all mm. I did not come out of a good family, mm. a good family mm. can come out, out of me. Mm. If at all you did not come out of a rich family, mm. a rich family can do what? Come can come, come out mm. of you. Mm. There is always that opportunity of building up again mm. and starting all over again. Mm. Yes. yes. Yeah. And I think that's very important mm. because from the very first step, mm -hmm. you have to acknowledge mm. what are the traumas that I'm dealing with. Mm -hmm. And you know, sometimes that, that means you have to face your past. Oh, yeah. And so many people are afraid of that. You mm. don't want to go back and mm -hmm. think about the, the times that mm -hmm. really hurt you. Oh, yeah. So you have to acknowledge and see your parents as humans. Oh, yeah. That's one thing, as we become older, mm. you see your parents as humans oh, and yeah. they're just trying and they're doing their best. Mm. So now in alignment with that, mm. Zipporah, mm. would you advise someone to talk to their parents? Mm -hmm. Would you advise them to sit and have a discussion? Sometimes even therapy. Mm -hmm. Would you advise someone to call their parents for therapy so uh -huh. that you can sit and actually address some of the pain and the trauma that you felt mm -hmm. as a child really mm -hmm. influenced and impacted you negatively? <laughs> That's a very dangerous question. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 you know we are in Af an African setup. Not the wazungu set up. <laughs> 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 and we are coming from African, typical African homes, mm -hmm. where the mze is Mr. Know It All, mm -hmm. Simba, and mm -hmm. the mother is the lioness in that home. Mm -hmm. And their word is law. Kila wa mesema sheria. It cannot be amended. Eh? So if you realized you came from that kind of a family, and probably now you're a grown up and you have known my anger issues, I can backtrace them. The way I feel disorganized, the way I'm moody, the way I'm this and this and this, I can tell because as pastor says, the first thing is you have to first of all acknowledge, he ilifanyika na mimi ndiye huyu hapa. But now, because those people are actually aging, let them age peacefully. <laughs> but now from you, you can start with yourself and you say, uh, you know, there, there's this ca uh, ca picture, a meme I saw, um, the father, the grandfather shouts very harsh words to the father. The father is shouting very harsh words to the son. Then the son blocks and cannot hear those harsh words and pronounces good words to the ca ca new child. So you can decide it is ending with my generation. So from now henceforth, mm -hmm. I have known parenting. I have known mm -hmm. that I want to raise godly children. I want to raise this, I want to raise this. So you start with yourself. Mm -hmm. In as much as you may not sit your parents down to tell them mulinikosea because pia mutahazisha vita ingine. Atakuliza, okay. So you went to Nairobi and you got money. You are giving us a lecture. You are attract more trouble. Yes. But you can now start with your children. You learn to give them attention. Mm. And when I'm talking about attention, attention can, you know, what children mm. interpret as attention is not what us adults interpret as attention. So you just decide to as do better. As a child, ureza huto mtoto satani ya usiku wa jalala. Why? Toy yake imetoka na mugu. Mm. is very concerned that this toy ama doli haina mugu is very concerned and very worried now you as a mother or a father who is very tired and very hassled from nairobi you and the current economy you come and say kwa nini ulali nimesema kila mtu kwa kitanda go and sleep yeah what have you done to that child you're you traumatizing do them you even know more. how much that toy means to that child <laughs> <laughs> eh? you, you know if you're a good yeah. parent and you want to give them attention you go and say oh the toy was broken you you try and fix it and they will go to bed happy. Trust me, you. when they grow up, they will want to nurture other people. They, they, will, lo they will learn they to give seen. people attention. Mm. They will learn to solve issues and, and finish them because they yeah. learn from home. So don't ignore their small troubles. Yes. They may be small to you, but they are not small to them. So you decide in answer na mimi. What are you just do better oh, yeah. than your parents? Exactly. You know, and I like what you've said because there's also a quote I pass by, mm -hmm. a question that how do your parents apologize? <laughs> Most of the comments are chakula. <laughs> no one, no parent will come and tell you I'm sorry. So as we're winding up, uh, I'm sorry I can't pull up your comments, so mm -hmm. I'll just read them off my phone. Mm -hmm. We have Fred Arsenal Moffat who says learning from those with experience straight mm -hmm. from Naivasha. Thank you for that. Msafi KE, tuned outer Karatina. Kizito Nyongesa says, count me in outer Mwanda, Bungoma County. Faristo Muganda says, 
we wa ebumere mumias nikondani na mpango ya mpango mzima hadi mwisho thank you timothy we have uh, some comments from alibai please ensure that your comments are brief and spelling are correct mm -hmm. thank you for that mm -hmm. and let me read the the, the parting shot for today mm -hmm. time has really flown but the quote reads Parenting isn't about being perfect. Mm -hmm. It's about being present. Mm -hmm. Our children need our love, guidance, and attention more than anything else. Mm -hmm. I hope you've taken note of that, and I hope you've learned something from this very insightful conversation. Mtoto umleavo, ndivyo akuavyo. Whether you like it or not, how your children see mm -hmm. you, how they listen to your conversations, mm -hmm. how you nurture them, is how they will become as adults. Mm -hmm. So let us be very careful and let us also unlearn some of the trauma that we have mm -hmm. because we have to understand some of that is rooted in our childhood traumas. Mm -hmm. How can we be better so that we can do better for future generations? Mm -hmm. And that is going to be it for today. Thank you so much for the entire camera crew who has been very great. Thank you so much for Timothy Tajeu, who's a very great producer and everyone who has been helping from the TC, the programmers, the sound operators and our very beautiful guests asante ni sana kukuja yeah. i really appreciate even you for tuning in and uh, rosemary rosemary amesema lazima ni mtaje jina so thank you so much once again for tuning in you have been watching the power talk show and my name is Cheryl blessing Imagine.